of this season, and he is overcome by emotion again. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer, an inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Play it. The Cubs win the lead. Live from the banks of the Ohio, we welcome you to Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Cincinnati Reds. It's Reds Baseball, next on the show. Homer Bailey, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he's been good. He's had a solid season. If you look at his strikeout-to-walk ratio, it's 2-1, to one, so that means he's around the plate. He's going to continue to dominate a little bit. But I think the key for him to continue to be successful is stay on the same mindset, pitch by pitch, inning by inning. We'll see if he executes that in this game. He takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Good night for baseball all in all. Game time temperature, 63 degrees. And that misses two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Hamilton is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And now a chance to meet the mess. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, I know they're hoping for a turnaround from Asdrubal Cabrera in the near future. He had only two home runs last month, which is uh, not good for a guy that hits in the middle of the order. They're going to need a lot more production and a lot more power from him moving forward. They expect it, and so do I. Here now is Asdrubal Cabrera. His lifetime numbers against Bailey has seen him go three for nine. Outside two and one and Harold as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight they come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Yeah Matt it's been disappointing I mean here we are in the dog days of August and this shows your colors right now I mean there's been a lot of bickering and complaining but because they've been playing poorly and it's hot and they're all irritable uh, it's not a fun club to be around hard hit ball to short. On the first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Batting third, the right fielder, number 30. So stepping in, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Fouled straight back. The next three two swing line drive that's going to be trouble legs churning he's headed for second and he will stroll in there standing with a two out double that's a pitch he'll look back on and relive tonight when he's lying in bed a pitch away from posting a zero in the first and he makes a big mistake and he pays the price so now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. 
Jacob DeGrom will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, H? You know, I'm excited to watch this guy pitch. He's got over 200 strikeouts on the season. With that comes a lot of innings. He's very durable, almost like a throwback type of guy. So watching him execute his game plan is very fun to me. And I hope he's on top of his game today so you can see the best of him as well. And here's Jose Peraza. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, I really like the pitching staff, but I think the key to this game is clearly falls on their shoulders. They throw off speed pitches for strikes, and they mix the pitch as well. I think if they do that, they got a chance to win. Here it comes on one and one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Ligaris. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Time now for a look at the hometown Reds starting lineup card in this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Oh, boy, the wind is blowing out. Matt, I'm telling you, as a hitter, it is like the best thing that has ever happened. It's like a birthday gift that you weren't expecting. When the wind's blowing out, you know if you just touch it just enough, that ball may go out of the ballpark because you know everybody wants to hit home runs. In is Joey Votto now. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Runner at first here, one man out. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Into the box now Adam Duvall and this is a good looking matchup for him here as you can see he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. He's set here comes the one one. It was a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Red lead one, still no score. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Man, he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Throws him with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. He's ready. Now the pitch. That swung on and lifted down the left field line. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Ready with the one and one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And the pitch on two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And remember here, there's an open base at first, so a walk is not the worst thing that could happen right here. He's set. Here's the three one. 
fly ball out toward left center field. After it is Hamilton. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got Having it into eight. the outfield to bring center home the field first field run of the 12. game and pick Juan up the RBI. Lagares. Striding into the box, Juan Lagares. And he has been, pardon the cliche, in fuego of late. Seen that average shoot up quite a bit over the past eight ball games. Fastball called strike. One and two. One out and a runner on third. Hard hit ball to second. Peraza is right there. Only play is going to be to first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. Stepping in now, Jacob deGrom. One and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. So it's two runs on just one base hit. No errors and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Mets two and the Reds nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Zach Kozart. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. This is line to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Well, a leadoff single right here in the second inning. This is a good sign. Maybe this is how they get right back in the game, being already down a couple runs early. Scott Shubler. And that brings up Scott Shebler, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. One and one, here it is. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Lifted in the air out to left. And this will be hauled in shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Torno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. One, two pitches, a slider that misses two and two. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Batting eight. Patrick. Digging in the switch hitter, Sean Zaraga. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. The short hit hard. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for Cincinnati. They trail things here two to nothing. Now at the plate, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here it is on 3 and 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Four pitches, all takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on the base pass with his legs. So there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. Lifted in the air to right field. Duvall waits on it. One out. 
So with one gone in the inning, we'll take a look at where these guys sit in the standings, and I think they can pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division race. Digging in to try it again as Drupal Cabrera 0 for 1 here in the early going. Into his motion, here comes the 3 and 1. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. One out, nobody on. This one's down to third. To his right, Suarez. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first. The skipper's out of the dugout, and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call. Yeah, definitely one of those bang-bang plays. And looking at it right here again, I still don't know if I can tell for sure. Going to be interesting to see what they decide to do here. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make the final Ladies decision. And gentlemen, the Mets have decided to So here's one last play. look at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call. And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. And the review process appears to be coming to an end. So here comes the decision. And he is indeed out at first as originally called. So they lose the challenge and the ability to use any further challenges for the rest of the game. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Michael Conforto. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. One and one, here it comes. Aye. Takes a knee-high fastball. The difference maker in this outing than others is the two-seamer. He's doing whatever he wants to do with that ball. It's moving all over the place. And look out as that one ran in and got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge the he can get for his pain 52. is to find a way to come around no, to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. Striding in once again, Joannis Cespedes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Two out with the man at first. Popped up. Votto is there for it. And the inning is over. Mets strand one. They're up two to nothing. Stepping in, Homer Bailey, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Into the box now, Jose Peraza. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Mm, just missed on that changeup. I like that pitch right there. You got two strikes on him. Throw that changeup and see if he chases it. That time he laid off, but hey, good idea. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter, number six, center fielder. At the plate, Billy, Billy Hamilton. Hamilton. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Tapped up the first baseline. He's got a hurry, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Reds. They trail it here, two to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, David Wright. He'll match up with Homer Bailey now to lead off the inning. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. 
And a swing and a miss that time by Wright as he couldn't come up with it. One away. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And as you see there, just one mile an hour separating these two arms so far. 96 on one hand, 95 on the other. And the pitch on two and one. Grounder down the line at third. Played on the backhand. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now, now at the plate, Travis Darno. He hit a sack fly earlier. <laughs> Fouled back. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Swung on and lifted down the left field line. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Can't ask for much more there out of Homer Bailey. His club needs to get him some runs, however. It's two zip. In is Joey Votto now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Drill down the line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Another one two delivery. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, this is just one of those grinder at bats right here. He worked the count even to two and two, and he's made him throw a lot of pitches. And he got him at first on a ball that was already into left field. That's a heck of a play to get the first down. Digging in for his second at bat, Adam Duvall comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Again, he sends it out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozart. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So a solo shot down the line in left number 14 on the season as the Reds are off to Schneid it's now a two to one game. He might have thought he was over the hump when he retired the three and four hole hitters, but the five hole hitter said not so fast. Any of these middle of the order guys can burn you, and he sure did right there. Into the box, Scott Shebler. Can't get him to chase, it's one and two. Ready on one and two. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. More ahead from Great American Ballpark right after this. Ready for another chance? Juan Ligares. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. To two oh, balls and two strikes now. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Chop weakly to the left. Suarez scoops it up, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batter, catcher. Standing in, Jacob DeGrom. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And that misses 2 and 1. Ball three. There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. If he can keep hitting the corner with that two seam fastball, it's going to be really effective. But if he leaves it out over the middle of the plate, it could be a dangerous spot. This one for Cozart at short. Throw gets him two down. So striding forward now, Jose Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that is down as that could be two bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Not really much the pitcher can do about that one. He put the ball down in the zone where he wanted it, but it was just a solid piece of hitting. Goes down and gets it and pulls it into the corner for extra bases. Yeah, as you know, Dan, sometimes the hitter just wins. Now a spin and a throwback to second. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. Standing in now as Drubal Cabrera called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better, and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go in. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And that will retire the side. Mets lead one. They lead it two to one. Ready now. Eugenio Suarez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, Sean Zaraga, as he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, the pitcher. So striding Homer in, Bailey. Homer Bailey. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Rivera will range over to make the catch just beyond the first base dugout, and that will end the inning. Reds are down in order. They're down 2-1. 
Ready for another shot now. Michael Conforto. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. And now a right hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Two and two count, here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Two and two count. Here it comes. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back to back walks here with one away. TJ Rivera. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Pickoff move to second, just keeping him close. Now both runners on the move. Swing and a miss strike. Yep. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. And here's Jose Peraza. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Conforto is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. The batter, number six, center fielder, Billy Here's Billy Hamilton, Hamilton standing in. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Hit out towards second. Cabrera's there. In time to first, and there are two away. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Ready on one and two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets two and the Reds one. Back here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. You're Jumbo Diaz place. is on to pitch now from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. 70. Jumbo Diaz. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He hit a sack fly earlier.
Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. There's a two seam fastball that's fought off foul off to the right. That's a big fastball obviously and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Ready to deliver the one and two. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Now another one two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Well I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it trying to get him to swing through it but it just ended up taking off on him. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And a perfect start to the seventh as this should be extra bases. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. That was a pretty good fastball and it almost five. got by him. But he's One, able to slap it in the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and it allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Looks like the Reds are going to have some stirring in the bullpen as the lefties begun to heat up down there. Into the box, Juan Ligaris. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. On the ground, up the middle. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Ready for another chance? Jacob DeGrom. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. 1 and 2. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. He pulls this one into right, and he will deliver one of the biggest at bats of the night. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Shortstop number seven, Jose Reyes. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Two one, here it is. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. Working for the punch out and the offering. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Duvall racing back at the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. And it's in time. He's out at second as a good relay gets him. Digging in to try it again. That's Dribble Cabrera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1-1 home to Cabrera. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. He's set, here's the three one. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Right 
Tough slider there as he grounds it foul. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. He's set. Here's the three and two. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Stretch time now here in Cincinnati. It's the Mets three and the Reds one. Digging in once again, Adam Duvall. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. And he takes a cold strike, too. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk. A fair ball. Well, this ball's hit off the wall. He hit it awfully hard. Now, I thought it was a good move to stop because a lot of times you go, oh, he's dogging it. It looked like he was going pretty good. But I think they're going to throw him out. Good read to get back to first. In now, Scott Shebler as he hits one on a line to left field. In there, a base hit. Well, he got himself in a good hitter's count and hit that changeup. Maybe he had a good scouting report, but he tries to pitch seven. backwards. Going to throw hey, off speed pitches in fastball right. counts and fastballs in the breaking ball count. Ready once again, Eugenio Suarez. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3 to 1 our score. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. Just got a piece up the line. That's a foul ball. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. With runners on base, two outs and two strikes, this is a big next pick. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Red strand a couple. They still trail it here, three to one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Blake Wood will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Hernan Iribarren will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Stepping in, Joanna Cespedes. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Set and the 1 1 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. The 2 and 1 on its way. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. David Wright waits on deck. He's set. Here's the 3 1. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. He's set. Here's the three and two. Ground ball left side. 
And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Season, number five, David Wright. Stepping in now, David Wright. Now a swing by right, but he got a little too far in front as this will find the seats down the left field line. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Curve ball bounces, and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Now at the plate, T.J. Rivera trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. The 1-1 one, one pitch. A high fastball is in there. Now a look and a throw back to second. And the runner back easily. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Digging in and looking for more, Travis Darno. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And tack on one more. Make it a four to one lead. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Well, that's a big base hit right there. And now you got a three run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Here's Juan Lagares. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Hit softly on the ground to third. And he'll get in there safely. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, come on, man. Eighth inning. He was getting me nervous. This looked like this might be his last at bat and his last opportunity. Into the box, Jacob DeGrom. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One for the Mets on the double by Darno. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's now a 4-1 to one Mets lead. Stepping into the box, Hernan Iribarren. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp 
and it's hard to know if it's had any effect but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in and now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there and a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first down. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you see there on the graphic, his total good for fifth best in the National League. And here's Jose Peraza. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like you did right here. Nice job. Billy Hamilton. Into the box now. Billy Hamilton. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, that right there is perfect for taking the ball inside and shooting it the other way. You hear that turning all your hands inside the ball. The only way you're going to do that is to pull your hands in hard and stay inside the baseball. Nice piece of hitting. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. Your attention, please. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Levin. Here's the 1-1 one, one now to Votto. Sliced hard on the ground. And that's through into left, a base hit. Ball comes in quickly, though, so no error on the bobble, and the bases are loaded now. Well, that one's going to load the bases up. They held the runner up. They're really looking for a big inning right here, trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up. In now, Adam Duvall. Yeah, and guys, this is clearly one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game so far. Yeah, Matt, base is loaded. They're looking to finally get that clutch hit that's kind of been elusive all day. They've had some hits, but they just haven't hit when it mattered. A.J. Ramos takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Called strike over the outside corner. Hit hard back up the middle. Step on the bag for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Mets bullpen able to stem the tide. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mets four and the Reds one. The genius of water, as it's known, just blocks from us here at Great American Your Ballpark in please. Cincinnati. Joe now Blanton enters Reds. from the pen to start Number the ninth 55. inning as he'll try to keep the Joe score right, right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Dribbled to the right side. That winds up foul. Another 0 and 2 coming. Sinker misses, and it's 1 and 2 now. Here's the pitch. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The 2 2 one more time. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. 
Digging in the switch hitter as Dribble Cabrera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Bases are empty, one man out. To two balls and two strikes now. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. On the ground to the right side. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Two out, nobody on. Now an off speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Fastball and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Down in order go the Mets as they hold on to a four to one lead. Jerry Familia enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Jerry Familia. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozart. Lifetime against Familia. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So it's a leadoff single that kicks off their half of the night. Well, how about that for a four-hit game? Uh, he homered four earlier. Hit. Now he Left picks up his fourth there. hit of the game. Shot. Wow, he's having a tremendous Shot. game. And that brings up Scott Shebler. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set to deal. Here's the three one. And a hard sinker there. Chopped foul at home plate. Crowd gets up for the three two. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Lagares to the track to the wall. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. So a two run shot to left center. Home run number 16 for him on the year as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. Friends is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. Harris Mendy Alcantara will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Harris Mendy. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Now to the plate, Sean Zaraga. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others. And I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. 
Well, that's a big base hit right there. Late in the game, you're losing by one. He's a potential tying run now, but he can't run. He's not very fast. Are you going to pinch run for him, or are you not? That's the big question. Josh Edgman comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Josh Edgman. In now, Hernan Iribarren. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Cespedes will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. The batter number nine. Digging in, Jose Peraza. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And there's a swing and a miss, so the Reds are down to their final strike. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? On the ground, up the middle. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem. They had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Jacob DeGrom earns his 12th victory in the ball game. Homer Bailey pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on nine hits. No errors. Garcia Puig pinch hitting. And he will hit a ground ball toward short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. The pitch. And a high drive, hit back into deep right field. Junior has just...